My name is Tessa. I am a scientist at Biobus. I am a neuroscientist, which means I like to study the brain. Welcome to our 10th weekly science challenge, Explore at Home. Today we are going to make a homemade touch receptor detector. I think the sense of touch is super interesting. Ow. Some things are prickly, some are super squishy, some are really rough, and some are fluffy. How does our brain make sense of all this information? Within the skin, there are different types of receptors or cells that receive information about touch. These receptors are activated or turned on by different stimuli. Stimuli is information about your environment. For example, when a butterfly lands on your skin, this activates touch receptors. This information is then sent up your spinal cord to an area of your brain over here. Not all areas of the skin have the same density of receptors. Density is how many receptors are in one skin area. Some areas have lots of receptors in a small area. Those areas are very sensitive to touch. Using these tools called calipers, you can figure out which skin areas are the most sensitive. You can make these at home. I'll show you how. Step one, get a ruler and four paper clips. Straighten all four paper clips. Now bend each of them in half. Make sure the distance between the two pointy ends is two centimeters. For the next one, make sure the distance between the two pointy ends is one centimeter. Continue like this until you have four calipers. How can the calipers tell what's most sensitive? They can help us measure the density of touch receptors in different areas of our skin. Once you've built the device, you can move on to step two. You can try it out. You'll need a subject. You can blindfold them or have them close their eyes. Using your homemade calipers, you want to find the distance at which your subject can't tell the difference between two and one points. So let's start with the biggest caliper, two centimeters. How many points are touching you? How many points are touching you? He can tell the difference. So let's go on to the next caliper, one centimeter. How many points are touching you? How many points are touching you? He can still tell the difference. So we need to go smaller. Let's go to the 0 0.5 centimeter. How many points are touching you? I don't know. He can no longer tell the difference between one and two points. That's the number you write down. Step three, get funky with it. Run an experiment with different skin areas, different variables, and even different subjects, if you like. Don't forget to write down your data. You can also try it out on your pets, but they can't say one or two and they can't say ouch, so they might not be the best subjects. As with all your subjects, be gentle and always get consent first. Now it's your turn to do the experiment and figure out which parts of the skin are most sensitive. Do you have any predictions? Write down the subject's name, the skin area you're testing, the distance of the caliper, and any observations you have. I hope you young scientists enjoy trying this at home. I'm really excited to see your results. So submit your data and your photos to the link below. Happy exploring.